What's up guys, it's Chop from Muckoff and today I'm going to be talking to you about our bike protection series and they come in various kits. This one for example is the frame protection so if you want to cover your entire frame and the rear triangle then this is the kit for that but if you just want to cover the rear triangle which is your chain stays and seat stays then we have an option for that too. We also have fork protection and crank protection. They come in both clear matte and clear gloss. Let's get to work. So the tools we're gonna to need for the job will be quick drying degreaser and microfiber cloth to clean any surface before we put the frame protection on. We're gonna need water, some scissors, and a squeegee. Let's get to work. So the first step is preparation and we're gonna be using quick dry degreaser, spraying onto the microfiber cloth and wiping out over all the areas where we're gonna apply the frame protection kit. Now it's time to apply the frame protection kit, but before we do, we need to ensure that we've selected the right one. So this frame has a matte finish, so we need to make sure that we're using a clear matte finish. The forks are gloss, so we're gonna use the clear gloss finish. And for the cranks, that will be a matte finish too, so do be careful which ones you select. I've just removed these from the packaging, and on the back are instructions for which ones to select. But before we take them off the sheet, we need to make sure that our hands are clean, and believe it or not, wet. So once I've sprayed the adhesive side of the sticker, we're then gonna spray the frame as well. Line it up and try and get as close to your headset as possible. And once we've got up one end, you can pivot that and then line that up at the bottom and just gently run your finger along it and then it's time to use the squeegee. So when we're using the squeegee, we need to push from the inside out. We want to remove all that excess water and those bubbles and push it all the way to the edge. So as you can see, there are some little slots here and that is to allow the protection kit to fold around corners. Now I'm gonna use a microfiber cloth just to double check there aren't any bubbles. So I'm just gonna run it over the surface, dry it off and just see if there are any. And if there are, use the squeegee and push them out to the edge. Frames come in different sizes, so we've added additional segments to ensure maximum coverage. When we are putting these additional segments on, make sure that there is a two mil gap. And again, start from the middle and work your way out. So the top tube is done, now it's time to fit the kit to the down tube. So the first thing we need to do is remove the front wheel and use an Allen key to remove the bash guard, which is this frame guard underneath. So the reason why we're taking the frame guard off is to maximize protection on the entire frame. So now we want to try and be as symmetrical as we can. We're gonna put the curved part as close to the headset as we can, say around about two mil. We're gonna start from the top. And as you can see, there are a few cuts here just to go around the curvature of the frame. Then we're gonna line it up at the bottom and then just gently press to get it nice and central. Next, we wanna repeat the process as we did with the top tube. And we're gonna start from the center out towards the edge. Make sure we get rid of all that excess water and any bubbles. So these little grooves here will match the contours of the frame. So you don't have to worry as they will slot into place. Now we can fit the additional segments all the way to the bottom of the down tube to ensure maximum protection. So that is the down tube complete. All the excess water and bubbles are out. Now we're gonna put the frame guard back on. So now the down tube is complete, it's time for the seat tube and we're gonna degrease it. Right, try and stand as straight with the frame as possible. And we need to make sure that these grooves are at the lower part to deal with the contours of the frame. And we're gonna try and get as close to the clamp line as possible, like so. And we're gonna start with the top and just make sure that the bottom part lines up with the center. 
and then we're going to let it just fall on like so. And we're going to remove all that excess water and bubbles and work our way to the edge. So when it comes to this lower part, it can become a little fiddly, so just take your time. And we're going to repeat the process until it's adequately covered. Now it's time for the rear triangle and some frames come with different chain slappers like so. So what we're going to do is use a very clean pair of scissors to ensure maximum adhesion and we will need to cut to suit. So as you can see, this is about to touch the rubber frame guard. So what we're going to do is grab ourselves a clean pair of scissors and we're going to cut along the frame line just so then we can ensure maximum adhesion. Don't be afraid if you feel like it's already set, lift it up and spray it with water and repeat the process. And now we're going to add the additional segments, but just be mindful that you may need to make another cut along that rubber guard. You can see there's a little bit of lift up here so what I'm going to use is a hair dryer just to heat up the adhesive to create a better bond. So now it's time for the chain stay. So repeat exactly the same process. Just be mindful that some of these chain slappers may be a little bit too big for these to fit on but in this case we're pretty lucky so this is going to go straight on. Now the frame is protected, now it's time to do the forks and bear in mind these are a gloss finish so we need to make sure that we have selected a clear gloss finish. And before we apply them, just ensure that you are selecting the correct one, left and right leg. So to apply the fork protection kit is exactly the same as the frame protection kit. So we're going to degrease the area, make sure all the surfaces are clean, wet our hands and then apply the protection kit. On the back of the packaging are instructions for which piece goes where. There's also the same as the frame protection, additional pieces for any cable rub. And now for the left leg of the forks. When we are putting this on, just be mindful of the cable. Could be a little bit fiddly, so just take your time. Forks are now protected, and last but not least, it's time to protect our crank. So we're gonna remove the boot and the pedal to maximize protection. We're gonna repeat exactly the same process. Spray some degreaser onto the microfiber cloth and ensure that surface is completely clean. And that is how you install our bike protection kit. So more information on these products, head to our website. Thanks for watching.